after you install Google Earth you will be presented with this screen here and we're going to give you a quick overview today of how to use Google Earth. First I want to clarify that when you're using Google Earth and viewing the images that are created in Google Earth they are not live images. They're usually between one and three years old. So first let's look at navigation. When you're looking at the Earth here you can click and drag the Earth and orient it in any direction you'd like. If you look over on the right hand side you've got a series of tools the one on the top is putting north at the top of the screen like a normal map. You can rotate the earth by rotating the compass. Next you can use the move tool down below to rotate the earth and orient it in right to left up and down. I think it's easier to click and drag the earth whatever direction you'd like it to move. Finally this bottom tool is to zoom in and out of the location that you're looking at. You can accomplish the same thing if you have a rotating mouse wheel on your mouse. You can scroll in or scroll out to zoom very quickly into an area. You can see when I zoom in that the picture starts out blurry and then depending on the speed of your internet connection, if you just pause for a few seconds you will notice that the image becomes clearer and clearer. The clarity of the image depends on the resolution of the image based on that particular area. Some areas get a real high resolution image, some do not. Now we can look at the bottom left hand side of this map and it tells us that the image that we're currently looking at was taken in March of 2012. We have the exact coordinates of where we're pointing on this map right here including the elevation of this particular point on the earth and then way over on the right hand side depending on how far you're zoomed in you can see where you would be approximately in height so at the moment we're 7,000 feet above this city the closer I zoom in to a particular point the more blurry you may find that the image becomes here I'm only 2,000 feet if I get way into this little water slide I'm only 1,400 feet above the water slide but you can see it gets quite blurry so I can zoom back out and get a clearer view of that area. Because it is a Google product, Google excels in search. So in the upper left hand side of your screen, here is the search box. So if I type in something like Empire State Building, it knows what I'm talking about and it'll immediately take me to that point. So you can type in names of structures, you can type in the name of a city, you can type in a full address if you know an exact address and it will bring you directly to that spot. So use the search engine up here in the upper left to quickly find things that you want to look for. The next thing I want to show you on the left hand side of the screen are what are known as layers. Layers let you overlay the map with all kinds of different information from the roads, to 3D buildings, you can put in the weather, all kinds of different things. So I'm going to take all layers off so you can see what it looks like without the layers. And then if I add layers, like for example borders and labels, then I get state and country borders and of course the labels for what I'm looking at. If I click places, now I start getting names of cities, names of geographical points like uh, oceans, rivers, etc. If I click photos, now I get all these little dots on my screen and I can zoom in. We'll go back here to New York City. So when you click on one of these little icons you can get a photo and sometimes you'll see multiple photos from the same spot. So experiment with layers. There's many different things you can do there and it allows you to learn more about an area. One quick thing I will show you while I'm in New York City is the 3D buildings. If I click 3D buildings, not all, not all areas have it, but you can start to see that the buildings are starting to get a little bit of texture to them. Once you have enabled 3D, or even if you have not enabled 3D, you can use your compass up here to tilt and get a 3D look at the landscape. So I'm just hitting these little arrows here to get a 3D view of the landscape as I see it. Some other features that have been added to Google Earth are 
Google Sky and that you can get to up here from your toolbar click on this little Saturn and then click Google Sky so you can drag it around zoom in zoom out and even search just like we did with the regular map also under the little Saturn icon up here is Google Mars and again they're using various NASA and USGS satellite expeditions and putting in some of the imagery from those missions and lastly underneath the Saturn icon is the moon and you can explore the moon just like you can Earth and Mars one last feature that I'm gonna take you back to Google Earth that I want to show you is the ability to measure distances very quickly and easily so let's say you wanted a rough estimate of how far across it, the United States it is you could click the ruler up here on your toolbar make sure line is selected choose what measurement you would like so I'm going to choose kilometers since I'm trying to learn the metric system then I'm going to click on one spot and then let go of the mouse and then click on the final spot and it tells me that that is approximately 4089 kilometers or I can change that on the fly to miles 2500 miles now if you've been to a new city and you would like to measure a walk that you did and let's say you got left at the airport and you had to walk up the strip from the airport so I can click path after I click the ruler I get this little box I can click path then I can start my clicking so we'll just start from over here by the airport and then we'll go all the way over here to Las Vegas Boulevard and then let's say we walked up quite a few blocks and we walked back across here and then over to here back to the strip and it tells me I walked three and a half miles so there's a way to measure a path that you'd like to measure using Google Earth so we touched on just a few of the basics with Google Earth today have a lot of fun experimenting and learning from the amazing resource that Google Earth is.